Hello, so this video is how to make a shopping list. How to make an insanely effective grocery shopping list. Start your list early. I keep an ongoing list on the fridge um, at all times. Everyone in the family knows if it's not on the list, it won't get bought. Do not be tempted to skip this step. I don't care how good you are. There is no way to make an effective list in five minutes before you run out the door. Remember, the trick is to be thorough. Every little thing needs to be on the list. Ninja tip. Get into the habit of adding items before you run out. If you get into this habit, you will never run out of something again. Remember to include your spices, baking ingredients, mixes, and any paper products like foil and parchment paper. A thorough list is the key to this all working. Treat this like it is an extensive extension of your home and always visit it as a reminder that it is there. Go one step further and include a quantity. Another tip is to write how many you need. Our goal is to decrease how many trips we make to the store. If you want to save money, stay out of the stores. Such a simple and a super effective tip. So if you drink a lot of coffee, say, let's say just write down coffee, but instead write down coffee too bad. Be thorough so you remove the guesswork come grocery shopping day. Break your list down by store. If you are like me and do your shopping at more than one store, then break your list down by store to keep things efficient. I use a small notebook to hold my final list. This book is perfect since it has pockets for any um, coupons I need. By listing items by the store, I can get in and out quicker with fewer distractions that may cost me money. Keep track of your coupon items. Another tip to an insanely effective shopping list is to use coupons wisely. I like to put an asterisk next to the items that I have a coupon for. One asterisk for each coupon. So let's say I have three coupons for an item. I will simply put three asterisks. I do the same tip for online coupons as well. Remember, there is nothing worse than going to all the trouble to find these money-saving items. The trick is to do whatever you can, old school or not, to remind yourself of them. As I buy the items, I move the coupon from one pocket of my folder to another. This way, once I check out, I can just grab those coupons and know that the correct items are in the cart, making for a smoother and quicker checkout. So you can make a menu. Now, I see you rolling your eyes, but this is post is titled An Insanely Effective Grocery List. And if you want insanely effective, take a few minutes to make a menu. Did I really just say a few minutes? I sure did. Uh, it takes just 10 minutes to make a weekly menu and 20 for a monthly. No excuse kids. So this is just a template of a weekly meal menu planner you could use. So you also want to organize your list. This is a game changer tip. Most of us now, not new to shopping so we pretty much know what is what is where in the store make your list in order or at least close to which aisles they may be found in this one this will one tip alone will cut your shopping time and distractions in half if you are new to shopping uh, most stores have a same the same layout Produce is first with meat, dairy along the outside. The interior houses your canned goods, cereals, baking, snacks. Okay, you can also order online. I just love this tip. More stores now have the option to order online, pay, and even choose your pickup day. Imagine shopping from your recliner and stopping at the store only to find your groceries all bagged up and ready to go. Some stores will even load them for you. Take cash and only cash. This one can be a bit tricky to get used to. My advice is to keep track as you go. Most cell phones have a calculator, which really helps. Simply type your final budget amount into your phone's calculator. As you shop, just subtract out the amount as you go. This will help you stay on budget. 